Yeah, I went ahead and developed a very healthy respect for valve spring compressors after that because I easily could have lost an eyeball. Um, and I don't know why I didn't think of safety glasses before, but every other time after this that I handled the valve springs, well, what you're watching right now is before that happened, but right after that happened, I, uh, I slapped some safety glasses on and, uh, yeah, so we are, yeah, this is just disassembling the heads because we're going to do a quick port job. Um, first time porting heads for me, so I, it was a cool experience, cool to learn how to do it and, and, you know, kind of hone my skills in a little bit. Um, first thing we did was take a, you can see in the kind of the right top right of the screen, there's a exhaust manifold gasket and it uh, just laid it on there, sprayed it with uh, just a like a WD-40 type, I can't remember what it was called, but sprayed that on there so you get a, a quick rough outline of, of how much you can hog out. Um, and then, yeah, just carbide bit on a Dremel tool and get in there and start start clearing some material out you can do quite a bit of work into in the exhaust ports the majority of it is of the work is in the exhaust in these exhaust ports here um <clears throat> but uh i can tell you that i have driven the truck right now you know as i'm recording this voiceover um and it i i'm really confident it made a huge difference and I apologize, that kind of is a nice segue into the tardiness of this video. It's I have been trying to get this finished, get the truck finished. Um, we also um, are ex have a child uh, soon, going to have a child soon. So getting all the shit set up for that. Um, so it's been... It, it, and work's been insane so yeah but but now we're getting to it so this is just quick doing the porting um showing you my experience of how it how it uh, went and so here you can see after you kind of hog out some good material what we're looking like it's not nearly finished obviously you can see some rough spots and this is early on in my i think this is one of the first exhaust ports i did so i i got way better at it you know manipulating the tool and making sure it's angled and getting the right stuff out and cuz that carbide bit holy shit you can hog some serious material out um but yeah it was it was cool these are these are brand new ford heads by the way um i think i don't they're they're not that expensive especially with um the heads that were coming off of that truck, I just, you know, there was bolts stuck in them and everything. So, I, yeah, new heads were always going to be the way we were going to go here. But, um, yeah, that's kind of the exhaust port side. So now we're coming up on the, um, we're actually like the valve seat part. You can see that here soon. So, I got a little bit that will keep with the sand. I'll take a look. You see how. Yeah. That knob is, and we're not like cutting all the way down there. We're just cleaning up some of the casting imperfections, making that a uh, better slope angle. Yeah, you know, so it's not fucking deadhead. Because yeah, I mean, there's a, it deadheads a lot. I mean, with the exhaust, so we're just gonna do as good as we can on it. And when I say valve seat, I we're, we're, obviously there's things you can do to the valve seats, creating all sorts of different angles and surfaces and shit. But we didn't do anything like that. Um, 
this so as you can see there was there's quite a bit of of excess aluminum you can see right there in the middle of the screen that the, the intake uh those intake passages there are are able to be cleaned out pretty good and um the kind of the end the, the flow of the air you can improve so much um and you could well yeah here you go i guess we're watching it now but um it's this i was really nervous about this part to be honest cuz i thought i was going to nick one of the valve seats for sure um but they they all came away pretty unscathed thought that was kind of a cool shot with slow mo how all that aluminum's flying everywhere boy did that make a mess holy shit um yeah that that got everywhere i'm sure there's that's still floating around in the shop there's still bits of aluminum everywhere but um yeah those the, the main thing there is the intake ports that that one i was on earlier um because those have the most material you can you can take out you can remove uh this is a finished product well not quite finished but the 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 bulk of the of the material is removed and here we go here we're going on with a little sanding sanding cone and getting kind of doing the fine touch fine touches touching it up um just going everywhere that we went with the carbide bit but with the sanding to smooth everything out um <clears throat> and this was an easier you, know, you can't do do nearly as much damage with uh with the little sanding cone so that was not as not as risky but um yeah and that's that's more of your finished product i think i did go back in there and just round out a little bit more afterwards but yeah that's what your end result is you can still see the the red around the um around the edge of the port still showing the where the gasket will lie lay lie i don't know lay i don't know but that's that's really it i wanted to make a quick one i got a lot more stuff coming for you guys um just yeah i mean the final couple things here just putting everything back in um we went in with a heavier duty uh spring the same valves but uh a heavier spring so we don't float a float a valve and yeah i i am excited to get the rest of this content out because i've driven the truck now and uh there is a little surprise that i've got for you guys because <laughs> It was a little surprising to me when we had to make this decision on the truck. So, um, like I said, I, it'll be coming as soon as I can get the rest of this shit out. I'm trying to get to it as fast as I can. But thanks for watching. We'll uh, we'll see you in the next one.